The hide tool allows you to hide various elements of the object in your scene. So straight off, you'll notice we have a brush and it doesn't have support for brushes. So you'll see that with the tool selected, we have absolutely no brushes here. The reason is because when we do brush over uh, the mesh, it will hide the polygons. And the way we can unhide, and funny enough, have all sorts of more options, is up in the hide menu. Let's drag out the hide menu if we can grab it here. So that way we have it during the video here. Now that we've hidden something, we can unhide all. We can also hide sub objects. When you click on that, it will pull up a complete list of all your objects. So we can hide. Well, let's hide module one. You'll see that's been hidden up there. We can also hide by materials. Let's see. Let's hide the. Um, let's hide the canopy. And we've hidden that. We can also invert hidden. So now we've hidden or revealed everything that was previously hidden. You can also delete hidden faces permanently. I don't want to do that right now uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, but if you want it, it's there. Let's also unhide right here. You can unhide by material or unhide by sub object as well if you want to be very specific. But let's unhide all. Okay, now let's brush in a polygon. So we've hidden a few polygons in there. We can expand that. As long as the polygons are connected, it'll keep on hiding until it hides everything. We can also contract that to bring things back that we've previously hidden. Let's unhide all again. And then we can also store and restore these hidden elements to file so that we can recall them later basically like having uh, selection sets in a way as far as hiding goes. So that's it for this tool. Thanks for watching.